The Entertainment Awards season officially ended last night with the 91st Academy Awards ceremony in Hollywood, California. There were some shoe in winners and major upsets. Cameron O'Brien is here to walk through it all for us. Hey, Cam. Hey, yeah, so the Oscars was pretty different this year from years past because it was hostless. There was nobody hosting the show, so that meant no gimmicks, no gimmicks, no performances and stuff like that. But it paid off because 12% increase in viewership from last year. We're talking 29.6 million people watching the show, and they were tweeting about it too, so we put it up here on the side. And Ava DuVernay talked a little bit about Green Book and what the background of that story is. And then some Jordan said, I was pleasantly surprised how dignified mostly nonpartisan the show was this year so they were happy about that and I had the opportunity to speak with a local industry insider who broke down the significance of last night's wins for the future of Hollywood. Freed is the president of the Maine College of Art and last night she along with millions across the globe watched the 91st Academy Awards. Overall she liked what she saw. I was happy to see there were great entertaining funny movies but also with deep impact. Her favorite movie of the night? Spider-Man. <laughs> Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse broke barriers for reimagining and diversifying an age-old tale and made Peter Ramsey the first black director to clinch an Oscar for animation. We teach animation here. It's our newest major, animation and game art. And uh, the amount of work and energy that goes into those films can't be underestimated. The biggest winner of the night? Green Book. The film chronicles the real-life friendship between a black piano virtuoso and the white man he hired to drive him through the 60s South. It's a story that resonated with Laura. Prior to becoming president of the Maine College of Art, I was on the road with Yo-Yo Ma and 30 musicians. and. Um, so I really had a first-hand knowledge of what being on the road means. What really stole the spotlight last night were the speeches. From Spike Lee to Rami Malek and Olivia Coleman. Laura says there is something to learn from what all of them had to say. Almost everyone who spoke uh, talked about having someone to believe in them. And when you are a talented as an artist, a singer, a dancer, a painter, uh, you need people behind you who root for you and give you all uh, that they can so that you can discipline your imagination and really take, it, take your art to the next level. So it's a three hour show, so I couldn't get every single highlight in there, but another big one was Best Director, was won by Alfonso Cuaron. And interestingly enough, a cool fact is that out of the last six years, five of the Best Director winners have been Latino. So that That's is awesome. super, super cool. Yeah. So I think I was with the majority. I just wanted to see Bradley Cooper and Lady Gaga. Yeah, oh my and gosh. As as chemistry. Gone, I was just the, going yeah, to it was kind of wild. Everybody was like, mm. I know. But, but see, he's an actor who had to sing. Yeah. And that's yeah. scary. And direct like, at the yeah, same time. I mean, yes. Like, yeah. That was, right. so when he did it in person, it wasn't like messed with music. Right. Like, they didn't amplify it and mess with it like electronically. And he actually signed them. That's, you know, good for him. How, yeah. you, so. how are you allowed to have that many skills in life? Like, you, you <laughs> get to be a good actor, good looking, and right. you can sing? Right. Um, right. Right. Well, you didn't get to be the actor. Yeah. That's the thing. <laughs> that's, that's what you're missing. 